Hi, kids. Today, we will learn what are food chains and examples of food chains. So let's start. Kids, we already know habitat is an area where any organism lives and it can find its food, water, shelter, and protection. Population of that organism can grow in its habitat. There are many different types of organisms that can live in the same habitat. And populations of different types of organisms eat different food. And there is a flow of energy in a habitat. Let's see how. First of all, let's see what are producers, consumers, and decomposers in a habitat. Producers. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Plants get energy from sun to carry on the process of photosynthesis and produce food and grow. So plants are the only living things that produce food. Rest all living things consume food. So plants are called producers. There are also some other organisms that produce food other than plants. Let's have a look at a few examples. Euglena and cyanobacteria are examples of microorganisms that can produce food through photosynthesis, and they are not plants. They are mainly found in pond water. Now let's see what are consumers. All parts of plants are used as a source of energy by herbivore animals, as herbivore animals eat plants as their food. So herbivores are consumers. And these herbivore animals are eaten by carnivores. So carnivores eat other animals as their food. So carnivores are also consumers. Omnivore animals eat both plants as well as flesh of other animals. So omnivores are also consumers. So, we learned that plants are the only living things that are producers that produce food. Rest all, the living things consume food. So they are called consumers. Now let's see what are decomposers. Microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, and even worms eat the dead animals and plants. And when they eat these dead remains of animals and plants, they convert them into particles that again become the part of soil and make soil nutrient rich, which is again used by plants to grow and make food. Thus, there is a flow of energy in the form of a cycle that never ends. It started with a producers that used the nutrients from the soil and sunlight to produce food. And these producers provides food for all the consumers. And all the consumers, when dead, the decomposers convert them into nutrients and again add them to the soil. And such flow of energy between producers, consumers, and decomposers is called a food chain. And in a single habitat, there can be one or many food chains. Let's see examples of such food chains. Here we have a small food chain from a pond. First of all, algae is eaten by small fish. Small fish is eaten by larger fish. And larger fish is eaten by swans or eagles. In this food chain, algae is the producer. The rest, all are the consumers. And when all these organisms will die, decomposers will decompose them and again convert them into nutrients, which will again make the soil fertile. Now let's have a look at another example. Grasses, small plants, flowers 
are eaten by caterpillars. The caterpillar is eaten by the frog. The frog is eaten by the snake, and the snake is eaten by an eagle. And when the eagle, snake, frog, caterpillar, all are dead, the microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, decompose the dead animal waste to nutrients that becomes part of the soil. And those nutrients are again used by plants to grow and make food. Microorganisms, while decomposing the animal waste, also releases carbon dioxide to the air, which is also used by plants to breathe. Thus, plants produce food for animals, and animals give carbon dioxide for plants while breathing, and animals are also reduced to nutrients and carbon for plants when they are dead. So plants and animals are dependent upon each other. Let's see some more food chains. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Kids, all food chains start from sun, as the sun is the ultimate source of energy. Because plants use solar energy for photosynthesis. So, plants produce food, rabbits eat plants, rabbits are eaten by snakes, snakes are eaten by eagles and vultures. All the dead animals are decomposed by decomposers, or the microorganisms and are again used by plants as nutrients from soil and carbon dioxide from the air, as decomposers also release carbon dioxide into the air when they are decomposing the dead remains. Here is another example of food chain. Algae, a green color aquatic plant, grows using the energy from sun. Algae is eaten as food by many small aquatic animals and fish, which are then eaten by bigger fish. And fish is hunted by humans for food. Again, the waste material from all animal and plants is decomposed by microorganisms as nutrients and carbon. Here is another food chain. It is from Tundra region. As we know, all food chains start from producers. So here too. First are very small plants called phytoplankton, which are eaten by krill. Krill is eaten by squids and fish. Squids and fish are eaten by emperor penguins. Emperor penguins are eaten by killer whales and leopard seals and everywhere dead remains are decomposed by decomposers and are converted to nutrients for soil and carbon dioxide for air. So we learned so many examples of food chain and some terms like producers, consumers, decomposers. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!